Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy B4 Reckless coming at you guys with a new video. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing uh, how to get better at night invasions. Um, basically, this is my setup. This is what I use all the time. I don't ever change anything. Uh, I have UV flashlight here. You especially want Night Hunter Booster so you can dodge faster. Um, that's my most used uh, thing in the game. Basically, it, it prevents you from dodging tackles faster. It, like... It basically makes you dodge tackles faster. It makes you dodge like spit smashes faster and all that other stuff. Like um, when you're trying to get away from a spit smash, I know what people say about spit smashes and all that other stuff. When you're trying to get away from a spit smash and you hit and you see somebody UV block, throw down a flare and then grapple up anywhere and then they'll miss and then you're gonna rain them. So that's how I get away from switch smashes. It doesn't work a lot because half the time you're in like an open area and you can't grapple up. Like for here, I can actually grapple up and then rain him. Um, so I get that a lot about how to dodge spit smashes. Um, and for ground pound spammers, uh, Tiny, I want you to start ground pound spamming me. Um, basically, this is how you get away from uh, ground pound spammers. You gotta jump up. B pretend like you're a real ground pound spammer. And you gotta jump up. Like basically just try and dodge. And then smack them out of the air. Every time they jump up in the air, just keep swinging. Like don't swing up in the air, just like try and move with them. Like when they're coming down on you, just keep swinging at them. Uh, so that's what I get from spit smashes and um, ground pound spams. So another one that I get is how when people spit lock. How do you get away from that? Now see, that one is a completely different subject and different topic. See, how I dodge spit locks is if I see them spit, I, I drink one of these bad boys, and I just try and like move out of the way, because like, you can tell when they're like going to spit, and then they're going to pounce you. Um, Tiny, try and spit lock me. So you just try it, like, you can see where the thing is going to be. But, like, he wasn't, like, trying to do it like a real Night Hunter would. But, like, yeah, see? Anyway, but, like, they'll, like, pounce you, and then you'll get hit with all that. Yeah. See, I don't dodge a whole lot of them. I mean, some people do hit me with them. But as once you hit with UV suppressor, um, try and, like, keep your light on them. Like, um, try and spit, spit, pounce me. Like, spit it at the ground, and then pounce me. Pounce me, pounce me. Oh, never mind. And you just want to keep shining your light on, on them as much as they can. So as soon as they hit that, throw down a flare and just like grapple away. And then just like try and play just ring around the rosy with them. You know, until you get your extra flare and then you throw down another one and then you keep just like trying to grapple away from them. Until you get your um, flashlight back. back. Um, another one that I get is when the night hunters like... Okay, so tackle slice. That's a big topic. Um, Tiny, go ahead and pounce me. So basically, you're going to get yourself a running head start, and then you're going to tackle slice. So that's how you tackle slice. Um, it's really effective, especially if they try to come back in for another ground pound, then bam. It takes two slices and one tackle to kill a night hunter. Um, it's pretty difficult. I'm still not fully trained with it. I have people helping me with it, but it's really difficult to do. Um... This is also my setup. You're, of course, you're going to need a bow or a crossbow, whichever one you prefer. I um, use the premium Oriental Kofesh because it's the longest weapon in the game. It's not the fastest swing, but it's the longest. You get, like, if they try and, like, ground pound spam you, you just keep swinging up in the air. This one has more length to it. Uh, yes, you're going to need one heavy weapon. I don't use heavy weapons a whole lot. I, I personally use an assault rifle. Um, you can either have another... Uh, one-handed weapon, which I used to do. Um, basically, to have one that's not golden sear, and I would just throw it at the night hunter. And holy shit, I fucking missed that. I just throw it at the night hunter. Yeah, so that's what I would do with the one-handed weapons. Um, another one that I get, I believe it was the um, how to dodge a clip. Like when a night hunter is trying to like um, tackle you through a building or like one of these, basically you're just gonna dodge it like you regularly dodge, but it's quite harder. Like go ahead and tackle me through this. I 
I'm not sure if I want to do this. That, see, you just dodge it like you regularly dodge. Any tackle. Another one that I get is how to grapple cancel. Um, first we have to find a building. Uh, let's do this building over here. Uh, sadly, you cannot dodge it if the Night Hunter does not have uh, knockback. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, Tiny, if you want to come over here and ground pound and try and tackle me off. Basically, you're just going to do that. Like me, I suck at grapple cancels. Because I don't ever go in buildings. Go ahead. See, I can't even get it half the time. Damn, thank God I didn't die. But... You guys can get better at that. I'm not a pro at tackle. Oh, um, um, grapple cancels. I actually really suck at grapple cancels. Um, so, Quaz, if you wanna, if you wanna ask me any other things to like help you with, because I know you're the one that suggested this video to make on my channel. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to learn? No. Well, I don't play with auto aim. I'll show you guys um, this real quick. I don't play with auto aim. I don't play with my sensitivity up all the way. I keep it like right here. Uh, auto aim, on my opinion, it really sucks. Um, really sucks. Uh, it gives you more of a range to like hit them. A lot of my friends are like trying to tell me stuff and like, yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks. Hopefully, it helps you out, and I want to see better players play Dying Light. I know the game is basically almost dead, and I play the same people a lot. But, yeah, so that would be it for the video. I hope you guys learn and basically try and get better. Um, a lot of you guys are already good enough, but, you know, you can always be better. Do better. And get more wins. Um, if you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. Peace out, guys.